Beach Fall, a two-mile stretch along Chicago's lakefront, becomes a kaleidoscope of color as thousands of people come together for the Les Turner ALS Foundation's annual fundraising event, the ALS Walk for Life. It's a fabulous fundraiser. This is the kind of thing that everybody dreams about doing. It's a great way to meet people and raise awareness, and everyone here is here for a purpose. It's fun, and it's good, and it's fresh outside, and it's nice to bring your dogs and jump in a bouncy. It's a family event. And it's gotten bigger and bigger each year. It's just awesome. I think when we started out, there were 75 families. And this year, they're talking about 5,000 walkers coming to Macho's Harbor for ALS. Those numbers are crucial, not only for raising money, but also for bringing attention to a disease that affects roughly 30,000 people in the United States alone. Practically everyone at the walk has a personal connection to ALS. Their team names say it all. Jim's Dream Team. I'm Jim's widow. Came up with the name because it's in memory of Jim and it was a dream of his that there be a cure for ALS. Ask about Amy is something Amy came up with because that way we could have it year after year and hope we're going to be out here a lot of years. And then Amy actually bought the domain name www.askaboutamy.com. So. The idea being if somebody sees it, they'll ask. Our team is Papa's Bunch. We come to the walk for several reasons. One of them is to remember my dad, who died of ALS in 2002. We also come as a family because it's a great way to support the research and the services that the Les Turner ALS Foundation provides. Since its start in 2002, the ALS Walk for Life has been a major source of funds for the foundation, raising millions of dollars for research and patient care, as well as services that improve the quality of life for people with ALS. Well, the foundation does a lot for support groups, equipment loan. They take these wheelchairs from Les Turner, because obviously, you know, as the disease progresses, you need different stuff. Better known as Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS is a degenerative neuromuscular disorder that steadily weakens the muscles, resulting in paralysis. Proceeds from the walk have funded advances in care that have helped extend some patients' lives. But the cause of ALS is still unknown, and as yet, there is no cure. I, have a I had a very good friend who was diagnosed two years ago with this, 55 years old, and 10 days ago he left us. Our teacher actually died from it, so all my whole school is like pretty much trying to raise a lot of money for it. Every 90 minutes somebody's stricken with this disease, so we need to start getting stuff with people fast. That's what my dad wanted to do, you know, we want to, we all want to find something so we, nobody else has to go through this again. Walkers on the Les Turner's Dream Team have actually dedicated their careers to it. We have two groups of people as part of the Dream Team. One is Dr. Sadiq's laboratory, and there are a lot of those folks here, and then there are a whole group of us from the clinic itself. Some of these people have gotten to be old friends, and obviously we want to support all the people who support us. And there are a lot of them. Even a torrential rain in 2008 couldn't keep the crowds away. I'm driving down there, it was just a non-stop rain, and I'm thinking, are we gonna cancel this thing or not? And the turnout was incredible. I mean, everybody was soaking wet from their head to their toe. Really meant a lot. What do you think of this weather? Couldn't be better, but uh, Thank God for everybody that came out to uh, brave the elements. It's supposed to be good luck on your wedding day when it rains. Maybe this be our last walk. Be good luck. We'll figure some out. But no, it's the seventh year. There's still a great turnout. Armed with ponchos and umbrellas, nearly 2,000 people showed up for the walk. And amazingly, just before the official start, the rain stopped. Not that it made a difference to the crowd. It shows that a lot of people care and uh, hopefully raise the money to find a cure. It was fun, right. It was special. The rain stopped. It's a lovely day. It's very humbling to be here and have friends and relatives support those of us with ALS. Sometimes with a the disease, there's isolation as a family, but today to see so many families out here, to see children, pets, makes me feel I'm not alone like everybody else, you know? Yeah, this is my brother Tom. I'm from California, and I came here to walk for him. This is one of the best things going. This is the fifth year we've been doing this. Well, my brother Tommy is uh, 58 years old, and he's in his fifth year of ALS. And he survived. The walk is important to me. 
I feel like I'm helping others and doing what I can for ALS. The fact that you're part of a team and it's a group effort is an amazing feeling in itself. And the fact that we're raising awareness and we're raising money and we're helping a cause is even better. Take a look at the crowd. They're all smiling because they're doing something that they want to do. It's not a mandatory thing. It's something that they're feeling right inside in their heart. It's a great opportunity to come out and just see how much support there is out there and the hope it brings to not only individuals with ALS, but family members who are dealing with it. Wives, husbands, sons and daughters, it's so important that they're supported as well. They do so much for us. I think it's really good, especially for children, because it's like saying if you ever need help, like your brothers, sisters, family, friends will help you through it. A good example is the Maple Middle School Jazz Band, which greets walkers at the one-mile turnaround. We've been doing this since its inception because our shop teacher, Lou Blonde, died of ALS several years ago, and we're going to be here until they find a cure. But the event doesn't end at the two-mile mark. There's lots to do once the walk is over. Hey, well, thanks for coming out. Hello. 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 Hello including a chance to help researchers find a cause for ALS. I noticed the Blood for Research booth and I thought, I give blood every now and then. This is a good time and a good place, especially, to sit down and do it again. And it just works really well overall. The same could be said for ALS Walk for Life. It's a fun day. We've got food and music and the Jesse White tumblers, and we raise a ton of money in one day, and that's the key. Hopefully someday we won't have to do it. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to have some fun and we're going to raise some money.